Godwin Emefiele is unfit to lead the Central Bank of Nigeria. CBN says Bola Ahmed Tinumbu Support Group. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Following the chaos that trails Naira redesign and the scarcity of new notes, the support group of the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinumbu, has described the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Governor Emefiele, as a man without basic rudiments of economic theory. The group, the Patriots Roundtable, accused Emefiele of being a partisan agent adding that with the allegation leveled against him by the Department of State Services, DSS, he is unfit to lead the Apex Bank. A man without the basic rudiments of economic theory, wielding and bowing before transient power to gain a favor, mangling morality while he sits atop the Apex Bank and yet would want to contest for the highest office in the land, the Director General of the Patriots Roundtable, Prince Uthman Shodikwe Dosumu said in a statement, Godwin Mefiele has become a crude partisan agent, an emblem of conspiratorial actors who is clearly unfit and unsuitable to lead our Apex Bank. The Department of State Security has leveled some grave allegations against him. He should make himself available to clear the hair. According to Shodikwe Dosumu, the CBN governor has made himself unpopular among Nigerians with the redesign of Naira policy, which has resulted in scarcity of cash, even in banking halls, with just weeks to a presidential election. Shodipo Dosumu said he has now earned for himself the, the necessary presence in infamy, having thrown the nation into chaos with his idea of a new Naira note which is un unavailable everywhere, even including the recesses of the banking halls, merely days to a crucial presidential election. He noted that with rising inflation in the country, man hours being wasted at filling stations in petrol queues, anger flaring on the streets and market women rejecting old Naira notes, while the new notes are nowhere to be seen, Inefiele cannot convince anyone that he does not have a hidden agenda. How does this time server convince anyone that he abhors no eating agenda as the economy goes into a spiral of inflation with darkness haunting the land with man hours altered and wasted in petrol queues with anger flaring on the streets with market women rejecting the old note while the new one is not to be seen? The Patriots Roundtable DG queried. The nation stares and dangles dangerously on the Specifics provoked by those whose ultimate agenda is to create a sweetener of chaos that will make the election impossible and fling before us a manufactured force major. But Nigerians are wiser. The sudden scarcity of fuel is no fluke. The emergency production, the emergency production of an ugly-looking, blurred newly inked Naira notes with punitive imposition of limited withdrawal a conjured array of destabilizing insertions into the Nigerian polity born upon some vindictive evil to sever the democratic path. Again, we stand as century Who against the democracy to satisfy the ephemeral we stand firmly and steady in themselves the in infinite latitude. Of the hour. Shodipo Dosumo noted that having constantly abused his constitutional mandate as a CBN governor, Emefiele should be sacked. And after that, he said that the CBN governor should submit himself to the DSS and other agents of the state for probe. The demand that Godwin Emefiele should be removed immediately as the governor of Central Bank for a serial abuse of his constitutional mandate and he should submit himself forthwith to the DSS and various agents of the states to probe his activities. Hiding under sponsored cheerleaders to distract the grave issues at hand is insulting the Nigerian populace. It will not work. Emefiele is a trogan us with all the destructive concomitants. It should quietly go into the good night. The day of accounting has come, he said. We assert that there is no nation on earth totally pivoted on cashless economies, not even the United States. For visual wiping out of paper cash is a direct road to a police state, 
where the big brother monitors all basic rudiments of life. Surely our democracy must never recede to this darkness. The truth be told, Mr. Mayfield has reduced the central bank to a partisan arm of governance. He has ceded his neutrality by overtly conversing to the president, even going to court to seek validation. Shodipo Dosumo further stated. Let's take some comments. The first commenter here says, The Naira redesign has affected them seriously. That's why they ate Emefiele and vomiting rubbish from their mouth. Another said, Emefiele has no problem in working with authority and directives. He can't do alone what authority tell it, tells him to do. Another said, Peter Obi will show him the way out. Another said, it's only Zobidiot people that support what Emefiele is doing because they came from the same place. Another said, because he has scattered the evil plans of the bullion van. Shame to you all. Another said, so because Emefiele is not dancing to your music, he's suddenly unfit to lead the CBN. Another said, the criminal had spoken. Another said, Emefiele is going to jail this year by the grace of the almighty God. So these are some of the comments that are strilled. What Bola Ametinubu support group said that Emefele is unfit to lead the CBN. If you can recall, he also, though he denied it, but he also contested for the post of the presidency at first. And Nigerians were like, you can't be the president of the apex bank in the country and as a CBN governor and be vying for a position. It's either you resign and make your political career get started but you can't be the governor of the cbn and still sitting and contest for the presidency so after back and forth they went to court to validate here and there and there i think when he gave it the uh, thought that he was going to lose his enviable job because the job of being the cbn governor is an enviable one especially in a country like nigeria where they act like the emperor you know and they don't feel that they need to put humanity in what they are doing because I don't know how anybody wants to define what is going on right now on the streets. I'm not talking about among the elites who always find their way with bank managers to get bulk of money where because even their bank now, officials are always told, almost a lot available. Of people don't even have to things to know, do with the bank as at their beck and call. They, they bring the cash to them, you know, they, they have the bank come to them, so to speak because of the heavy transactions they do and boosting their accounts and, you know, making the bankers more marketable within the banking sector or the office, particular office and all of that. So the common man is the one feeling it. A lot of Nigerians live on the daily income they make. What do we, did we consider the number of market women and men we have? Traders, um, um, Uber drivers, you know, so many Okada riders, taxi guys, all those kind of things, grocery stores, people are still using cash. And it cannot just be sapped out of the population, in as much as the new Naira notes are not readily available. This morning, the, gov the governor of the CBN said that banks should start paying over the counter. Guess how much? Maximum of 20,000 Naira. And they 10 naira, should start 20 paying naira, with 50 naira, naira and 100 naira. And it's quite laughable because somebody posted um, a sum of 2,500. And if you don't have a moderate-sized handbag for a lady, you might struggle to just keep it in there. So what if you have to keep 20,000 and you're giving 5, 5 naira? And the major thing is that there's nothing five naira can buy anymore. Even biscuit for children at unit price, you cannot get any at five naira. Max, you get 20, 30. Honestly, and so I don't know what value is now going to be placed with the cash. Better, and it's a concern. So that's where we found ourselves right now. But we hope that things will ease out in the next few days because the finance minister Zainab Ahmed. I said that the president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, is very worried about the long queues and the sufferings of Nigerians. Hmm. So what's your opinion? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always, always stopping by. 
May God bless Nigeria. See you in the next video. Bye for now.